Yeah, it was, it was a disappointing weekend for us. I thought that uh, Grand Valley deserved to, to drill us. I, you know, they came out with more of a, a passion and more of a, a, a desire and a, and a, a, a toughness that, that, that we didn't possess for 40 minutes. And, and when we don't do that, we, we struggle a bit, and we, we did against Grand Valley, and credit goes to them. They made all the shots. I thought we had good shots in, in reviewing the tape, but I thought that that, uh, that night, that particular night, they were just a little bit better than us. Uh, Saturday, uh, there's no such thing as a moral victory, but we did play. We played better, and uh, we we battled. We were pretty tough. We got the tempo to to our liking uh, to give us a chance. You know, Fair State is a good club in that, in, especially in that gym and environment, and and uh, they were able to to uh, to secure the victory. But we we battled, and and I think we got a little bit better on Saturday. Yeah, I just think we st we stuck with our with with our game plan, and, and you know I've said this a million times, and when we do that, we give ourselves a chance. You know, we 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 missed some shots early, and I don't think they were bad, but we just missed them, and we are we are still hanging around. Uh, and I and I credit our guys for not aborting because it did give us a chance in the second half to, to come back, of which we did, and then we just made a couple errors and, and gave up, a, you know, both offensively and defensively, not by, you know, design, obviously. It just it, it happened, and that happens, and those are things that we have to discuss and, and work our way through, and when we do that, then we're going to win these close games against the good teams. You know what? I thought Jason did have a, a, a good game at Ferris. He, he averaged, he got double figures for us, and not that we need that every game, but but it's a nice boost when when they're clamping down on those on those on the starters, and of which they were, and it made it tough on those guys. But Jace came through and and did some nice things, and hopefully, it, what a great time because uh, you know at the end of the season here, last game of the year coming up, and then going into tournaments, if he has a a, a head of steam and some confidence, that could be very valuable to us down the road. Yeah, you know, that's interesting because there is a lot at stake, but I don't want to lose the rivalry because that's the first and foremost. And we're going to approach it that way. That's how we're going to discuss it, and that's how we're going to handle it. Uh, because I do think if you do those, those uh, basic, and, and, and it's not a basic game, but what I'm saying, keep it simple, is treat it as a rivalry game. Everything else takes care of itself. We have to do some things very well to, to, to compete against Northern Michigan. I think they're playing really well right now. Their guards are really doing a nice job for them. They're, they're scoring a lot. They're, they're getting to the game, to the type of game that they like to play. And, and we have to be able to do our stuff and play smart. But uh, it's going to be a typical grind it out one or two possession basketball game. I think I, I'm going to sound like a broken record here, but it, it's it, as good as Northern's playing. Uh, we need to we need to execute our stuff, be smart about it, stop them in transition, and uh, and make them guard us on the interior.